is an awesome tourist destination but there is a famous conflict about it is pataya safe for family there are so many contradictory information about pataya that it is unclear if pataya is safe to travel with family as i have traveled pataya with family i would obviously give the answer as yes it is very much safe and definitely a recommended place to go with kids However, there are few do's and don'ts that we can follow to make sure that it is a memorable trip just for the right reasons. Let us discuss them in this video. First of all, here are the top reasons why I feel that Pattaya is family safe. Number 1. Even at night 10 am, the roads are safe and you don't see men who stare you at all. The city is brightly awake at night and people can clearly differentiate between a local girl and a guest or foreigners in the city. Unlike our assumption most women there are pretty decently dressed. Number 2 The Thai people are extremely patient and highly service oriented. They respect their guests and tourists very well and absolutely love kids. There are so many massage parlors all around the city and except few that are enticing most of them welcome kids and women very heartily. Ladies can take the kids along with along with the along with them and enjoy a relaxing food massage while they take care of the kids my daughter who's just 1 and 1/2 years old got a free 5 minute gentle massage and she absolutely loved it number 4 there are so many attractions all around pataya which are which the kids will enjoy for sure nungnuch garden for example with the cultural and elephant show will be a feast to the kids Not only that, there are there are uh, many attractions like underwater world, replace believe it or not, uh, and uh, also the teddy bear museum, which is unique. Uh, if if the kids go to the so that those places, they will really jump with excitement for sure. And last but not least, whenever we are planning for an international tour, budget is also a most important factor. You can. Take your family on an international to trip to Pattaya on a very limited budget. Uh, so budget will not fly very high uh, if we plan and execute it carefully. Okay. So now let's go to the do's and don'ts that we have to follow when we are in Pattaya. Okay. Number one is booking a hotel. So first we should book a hotel which is kid friendly. Uh, so. Uh, when we say kid friendly uh, we can we can try to book a hotel which is like a three star or four star which means the facilities and and it will be pr- quite decent but we should not think that okay if it is three star or four star it will be very costly even a four star hotels are pretty cheap there so say, also spend some extra money and book either a three star or four star hotel you can also when you are searching for a hotel you can also filter based on facilities provided by the hotel like you can search for kids pool or something then you will know that a particular hotel is kid friendly or not and there's also a trick here if you um, if you search for a hotel where the guest guest fee that is guest joiner fee is extra then you can pretty much be sure that it it will be much safer than other hotels okay uh number 2 that we have to follow is to avoid taking kids near uh, prominent areas after 10 pm like walking street or uh, vibrant areas like soy six or something like that after 10 pm it is better not to take them uh okay then the third thing is if if the kids spot some pda because uh it's unavoidable but uh, we can just divert them showing a different thing or we can just divert them Uh, instead of you know making them stare at it or something like that, then we should not glare or stare any Thai women. Okay, they are also normal people, and what they lo- do is actually legal there. So we should not stare at them and make them uncomfortable. Then uh, another major thing is like whenever we are uh, going out, uh, so m- women and kids can be accompanied by their. Uh, parent father or brother or something like that and uh, make sure that they are not going anywhere alone okay it is safe but we can avoid it and last but not least what i would say is like when we are proudly saying that india is rich in culture the reality is that even a small kid here doesn't feel safe even in the very home very very own home so compared to that 
a place like pataya where the sex starvation is very less okay i would definitely say that it is safe for families do plan a trip definitely do plan a trip and let me know if you have any questions on planning the trip okay enjoy thank you for watching this video